Our controller is also using a negative control too. Okay, so now you identify it, then you can either pull out and compare our pin assignment, and you can you can uh, cut this tie out and uh, just you know uh, either switch the jumper wire to match this pin assignment, right? To then after you jump over, you know, took it out according to measurement and match this our pin assignment is on the bottom. So for example, this one's P1 P2. It's match, okay? It's match. It's V I N. So P three is Guang, P five is Guang, P four A D J, P six is a um, a uh, enable. Um, see, if you look at uh, our this specification of this, if you switch J two and J one, and you will have exact pin assignment like this one. But anyway, you can refer to our specification data. In this video, I just want to show you how to a uh, you know just a uh, identify pin assignment. Since we identified, I might just want to show you how to mount this our our, our driver too. It's quite easy for this standalone monitors uh, displays. It's uh, I mean standalone uh, uh, inverters. It's right here. We go. We're gonna add one of the plastics. So probably we're gonna mount like this. Yeah, that's about right. So we're gonna mount on this side. See that? All right. Put this a uh, put this a screw on. Then again, you can either switch this wire according to measurements, or you can just switch the the, the J two, and then you connect right back. See, it's that simple. Okay, of course, using the meter is most easiest way to identify a pin assignments. But see, for this, this is some of the common a uh, a uh, inverter that we're using on um, different sides of touchscreen. Um, you know, if in case you don't know how to use a meter, just case into or you know, um, you might do the you know vision inspections. That's what I call vision inspection. First, look at this one. You identify the electrolytic capacitor, right? This is a capacitor. So if you look at down, this must be VIN and Guang, okay? So, and then you already identify two main pin assignments. VIN, Guang, and then you look look for all this, or you can use, you know, and uh, see which one is pin is connected to the, to the negative for cap, that's Guang. So other than two, there are only two. Uh, either the ADJ or ENA. In case you connect this, uh, uh, VIN, Guang, and other pin to our driver is not working, you can reverse the two pin between ADJ or ENA. Or even if you don't want to bother with those, it's quite easy. You just disable the ENA on our controller, I mean on our driver, and then when you disable controller, uh, uh, disable the enable, it's quite simple. The can cap, just get the voltage from here whichever, and then apply to uh, just water. So in that case, when you turn the display on, then when you apply the power, and the RE driver will already turn on. See how to disable, enable, it's, uh, we do have instruction under our tech support main pages. So again, you know, it's not that easy. I mean, it's not that difficult. It's actually, it's quite easy, especially when you're using a roll meter. I think then when you try to use a DC roll meter, you always set it on the auto wrench. So after get all the measurements and to confirm which one's Guang, because as I, we just saw, some of the voltage is, is zero voltage. You're not sure which is for the for power Guang, then you send it to the continuous, then check between the chassis. All right, thank you for watching.